What I'm going to show here is an example of a performance difference you might see between an Opteron and a Xeon processor. I'm going to use two servers that are configured identically, except for the CPUs and a minor difference in the memory that's required based on the CPU difference. I've got a DL385G7 using the top bin uh, Opteron 6176SE processor on the left. On the right, an identically configured system, uh, except with uh, Xeon X5680 processors. This is a DL380G7. Uh, so what you'll see when you run tests on these two different systems is that um, each CPU architecture is going to show different advantages. For example, uh, the Opteron is going to excel at uh, floating point heavy uh, computation and is going to show some higher memory uh, bandwidth performance. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to run a benchmark on both of these identically configured systems. I'm running uh, Server 2008 R2 with the same default settings on both. I'm going to run a benchmark called Stream, which measures uh, memory bandwidth. Uh, run the same test on both of them. And what you'll see is on the AMD Opteron based system with two of these uh, 6176SE processors, I'm showing a overall memory bandwidth in the triad test of about 34,000 megabytes per second. Compare that to the Intel Xeon based system, which is running about 24,000, 24,500 megabytes. Uh, per second. So in this case, with memory bandwidth, the Opteron architecture helps the DL385 beat the DL380 in terms of memory bandwidth performance.